Hello friend and welcome to another series of uh, problems for biology and uh, let's talk about this problem now. If the ratio of adenine guanine by thymine cytosine, so adenine guanine and thymine cytosine ratio in one strand of DNA is 0 0.7, what is the same ratio in the complementary strand? So it's simply according to the question what we require to know is the complementarity of the DNA. That means if adenine is present in one strand, in the opposite strand there will be thymine. If cytosine is present in one strand, in the opposite strand there will be guanine. Simple as that. If you know this thing, you can answer this. So that means, you know, in one strand, so if I draw two different strands here, in one strand, so strand 1, strand 2 for example, now in this case what they, they are telling here is that adenine plus guanine by thymine plus cytosine, this ratio is 0 0.7. In particular strand, let's say, let's say this strand 0 0.7, right? Similarly, so if adding in guanine by thymine and cytosine is 0 0.7 in this strand, what will be this ratio in the opposite strand, right? That's that's what they are asking now. So if there is adenine, the number of adenine plus guanine, whatever is present in this strand, will be opposite. I mean, completely opposite because you know the strands they are present. They are anti-parallel, so they are kind of complementary means if adenine is there, there will be thymine, if guanine is there, there will be cytosine. Similarly, cytosine, guanine, thymine, adenine, right? So if here, adenine and guanine ratio, whatever ratio we got here, we will have this implication on the other hand. So if adenine plus guanine and thymine plus cytosine is 0 0.7 in this strand, in the opposite strand, this same ratio will be there for this, right? Because if, if adenine and guanine is higher in this strand, of course, adenine and guanine will be lower in the opposite strand because both of them are purine, remember? Because adenine pairs with thymine, guanine pairs with cytosine, right? So if adenine and guanine presents in high amount in strand 1, definitely will be less in strand 2. Because if adenine is, is higher in this strand, thymine should be higher in that strand too. If guanine is higher in this strand, cytosine will be high, uh, higher in the second uh, strand, right? So here, the value, you know, 0 0.7 means 7 by 10. That means, according to this value, what we know, the thymine and cytosine is more in this strand. So, of course, thymine and cytosine will be less in other strand. And the only way to make the thymine and cytosine less in other strand is to put thymine and cytosine in this orientation, right? So the number that we get, it's like we just swap, just come up and down. So if you swap this result, or you can swap this one, whatever you want, right? So swapping these results, we get now the opponent DNA, the opposite DNA, the same ratio that is 0 0.7 will be for thymine cytosine by adenine guanine instead of adenine guanine by thymine cytosine. I hope I, I am able to understand you. Because you know, if adenine is more, in this time thymine will be more. If guanine is more, in this time cytosine will be more. So remember, if you have 10 adenine, so you have 10 cytosine, 5 guanine, uh, sorry, 10 adenine, 10 thymine, 5 cytosine, 5 guanine, 5 cytosine here. So ultimately, the number of adenine will be present here will be much lesser. The number of cytosine much lesser in this time. Similarly, we get this. So once we get this, what we can put now, we can write by 10. So simply what we can draw here is, so what we need to find, we need to find this value. So simply swap it, A plus G by T plus C, that's what the, what, what, what's the question that what is the same ratio that means A plus G by T plus C in the other strand, in the complementary strand and what we got here is 10 by 7 and that is 1.43, right? Or simply what we can do here, not swapping this, we can take this as it is, I mean from this particular location, we can take this as it is, simply swap this value that is 10 by 7 and we get the answer 1.43. Right? And why we are swapping the values? Remember, because of the complementarity. So if A is present 10, obviously in that DNA T will be present 10. If G is present 10, 
obviously in that DNA C will be present 10. But remember, if in one strand there is more AT on the opponent strand, there will be more, if one strand there is more A and G, the opponent strand there will be more C and T instead of A and G, right? So it's, it's all about distribution. If in my one hand I have more A, a and G, I will have less CT, similar, very, very basic. On the other hand, we will have more CT because in this hand we have less because everything should be balanced in the DNA.